You're welcome. Well, Colleen Kelly Alexander is a lifelong athlete turned motivational speaker after battling through some of life's most unimaginable challenges, including being nearly killed while riding her bike. Now, joining us live now this morning is Colleen. Thank you so much for being here yes, this morning. And her you. husband, Sean. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and both of you actually had instances where you were in accidents and needed blood and thus this visual representation first off let's explain what this is and how this you know is representative of what happened to you guys great yeah i'll explain that okay so the human body uh, need, uh is always having this much blood about um 10 units of blood uh, flowing through it at all times mm -hmm. colleen her trauma she needed 10 gallons of blood in order to survive wow over 78 units. Over 78 units, so eight times the amount that the human body carries. I needed, in my trauma, I needed about seven units, so a little bit less than what Colleen needed, of course. But So, Colleen, you were in a bike accident, and what happened to you, Sean? I was in a snowboarding accident. Oh, my goodness. And you met before your accidents, right? <laughs> we did. So we were did. you married when you had your accidents, or was this before you fell in love? Well, um, I had my accident before we were married. And uh, she had hers about a year Almost after. a year after. Wow, wow, that must have been so scary. So how did, you ride your bike a lot, even to this day, mm -hmm. um, but how did that happen and kind of what motivates you now going forward? Um, I was riding home from work and on um, just a routine ride home and a freight truck blew a stop sign and ran me over with front and back tires. And so um, my femoral artery was ripped and my midsection down past my knee was ripped. So I really needed to be rebuilt and I just continued flatlining because my heart didn't have anything to beat. Wow. Um, I just continued bleeding out. And as quickly as they would fill me with blood products, I would drain again. So hence the need for, for so much blood and just so much gratitude for the blood donors that are out there. They're my heroes. And that's part of the reason why we're talking about this today because this is World Blood Donor Day. And it's so important for people to get out there and donate blood because it saved your life. I mean, yes. it saved both of your lives. It allowed us to be, we just had our five year anniversary and it allowed us to celebrate our anniversary together. Oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> yes. Five years is a huge milestone. Yeah. Um, and you're both athletes, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, did you celebrate in, the, in that way? Yeah, well, we, yeah, I mean, we, we, went, we went for a swim in a lake, basically. <laughs> we did a little over a mile swim, yeah. Perfect. which was really nice. Yeah, now, are you swim. both blood donors now since these accidents occurred? I am. She cannot, unfortunately. Yeah, I had brain surgery years uh, prior, and so they had to put bovine dura oh up in my skull. So because of the mad cow epidemic, if you've had any sort of bovine um, anything in your right. body, it immediately disqualifies you from donating blood. So the fact that I had this much blood put in my body um, isn't the factor, it's just the bovine dura, unfortunately. I was a blood donor up until the trauma. And we've got some great pictures of you guys. Um, wow, such an inspiration, Colleen. If you could give advice to anyone else who is giving, going through adversity, what would that be? To really believe in yourself, to know that the human spirit is far capable of anything that we ever um, imagine. And quite often people say to both of us as a couple, you know, we can't, we don't understand how you've been able to go through this, how you didn't just crumble up and give in. Um, 29 surgeries and so much pain and so much panic. And we say that, you know, for me, knowing that I had so many heroes that have contributed to my heartbeat is beautifully empowering. And to be able to share with other people that you also can be a hero, whether it's through blood donation or through the smallest volunteerism part of life that you do. Um, but we all have this beautiful ability to make an impact and to really change the world. Wow, wow, that is incredible. And blood donation is one of them. It's pretty easy too. Most mm -hmm. people can do it. Um, and there are different sites today that people can donate blood as well. We have sure. those sites on our website. Um, but uh, talk a little bit about you know how important it is to keep those reserves, especially the summertime with blood donation. It's critical. In the summer particularly, um, blood tends to get at a critical low because people are out, they're active, they're not doing as much. And then a lot of times people have the best intentions to donate blood, because it, but they haven't been well hydrated. So their blood may not drain quickly enough when they go in to donate and then the blood can't be used. So it's really important that people understand that during the summer we really need you to get out, we really need you to donate blood and make sure you're very well hydrated, make sure you've had adequate amounts of iron 
um, so that your iron counts will pass. And, um, you know, it's just, you are the selfless heroes. And I think that just, um, you know, getting out it and making it happen and, and knowing that you're creating a change. I mean, we are one of millions of people that are alive because of, of heroes who've rolled up their sleeves and, wow. and given. Wow, well, that's wonderful. Thank you, Colleen. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you, Sean. Thank Inspiration. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. And for more information on where you can donate blood and about Colleen's story, you can head to our website, wtnh.com. Just click the on-air tab, pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section.